yeah just needed to let the nostalgia hit well in this video we are installing a browser on windows xp now the first problem that we will encounter that uh, when you install windows xp it comes in with internet explorer now that's not the issue the issue is well it is not supported so nothing works so if you if, just let me just go to a website let's say we want to download some wallpaper so if i just search for wallpaper and first of all it takes ages anyway so you can see that well everything is broken you can see images but yeah everything is broken here and if you just get into your website it cannot display anything well and you get the point windows explorer sorry internet explorer is broken it's chameleon or k melon however you like to say it now if you are into the more open source space or where you like to use more uh, open source software that are not run by your, the data hoarding companies or the evil geniuses behind companies then well you can go with that the so first let me show you how to get the chameleon now since no internet works on windows xp for now uh, what you do is just get on to your uh, windows pc or a secondary computer or even your phone however you like to do this and just open a browser and just search for k million so chameleon and it's just spelled weird anyway uh, you can see the first website that you see just get into here and even if you are on a mobile phone it's fine and then you can see this button right here now yours may be blue i already went in here so it's gray anyway uh, just click on this and then click on this one right here this is the latest build so uh, this is the old browser but it is actually still getting updated so it's fairly recent and after you have the file so uh, it, after it's downloaded you can see it's a compressed file so if you don't have any decompressor in <laughs> in your windows xp machine you can uh, uh, decompress it and just copy the files onto a pen drive or you can just uh, get a uh, decompressor because well you need it someday you will need it just go to 7zip's website uh, I personally like to use 7-Zip because, well, it's really easy and fast to use and it just kind of integrates into the system itself, so it's a bit easier. Anyway, so, uh, you can see uh, here is the 7-Zip version which has uh, 32-bit, you can just install it, so download it and just copy it onto your pen drive as well. So, I already copied it onto the pen drive which you will see after we get in there and I just took it after extracting it anyway here we are back at our windows xp machine and uh, in here we we'll just go to my computer and this is my pen drive right here and then this is what sorry this is the file that you should get after you you know decompress or unarchive the uh, compressed file and you can see this is what we are looking for and what you have to do is just copy this copy and then move it on to your desktop or wherever you like to put it and this will take a bit so just wait. so after it is done copying we can just close this and then open up this one and then if you just run this so here is a browser that opens up now by default it uses DuckDuckGo because well it is open source everything everything this browser uses is open source and this is fairly recent browser so you can actually go on to YouTube and you know watch stuff so if you just go to YouTube you can see it actually opens up now here's the thing though uh, this actually plays the mobile version um, I don't know why. Just, let me just search for something. So let us see crap wave. And if I just start this. So now, as you can see by the UI, it actually plays the mobile version. So a lot of this is kind of, you know, in the mobile version. <laughs> 